That, that means I did it, right? It's like, right, that's the obvious thing. All right. <laughs> Who? I haven't recorded one in so long. Is it focused? Okay. What's up, guys? It has been quite a minute uh, since I've been on YouTube. I'm making this video for a few reasons. Uh, one, to kind of go over like what um, I've been up to, but you know, most of you guys don't really care about that. Um, I, feel, I feel like I want to also make this video to kind of show you guys like kind of like why I've been uh, gone and you know, the, I think the reason behind why I've been you know working on these other different projects because I think. Um, one of the things that a lot of the kids watching this or like even just like younger audiences in general um, who are trying out you know all these all these different sort of online projects and um, things like that is like there's there's a lot of noise and clutter and just so many different things that like me personally like I, I want to do a bunch of different things right so like it, even in the e-commerce space like we, we drop ship we do branding uh, you know we manage content on one aspect uh, web development and then like there's stuff completely outside of e-commerce like SaaS um, even music for instance right and so like, there's all these crazy different projects that we've been trying to do <laughs> I lost it I'm sorry thank you sir um, projects that we've been working on And <laughs> I can't do this. You're welcome, master. Paid <laughs> <sighs> sponsorship. But basically, there's just so many different projects that like I've been working on, and sort of like I've been trying to, you know, kind of cut back and uh, be selective about where I'm putting my time and focus and attention to. And I think that's something that a lot of you guys should also be doing that. Because again, there's so much noise out in the space now. Um, there's all these different things and all these different sort of like industries and avenues that people are preaching like, oh, you should do this. This is the opportunity of 2019. This is what's going to be popping in 2020. This is what's going to be, you know, good in quarter four of 2019. Like there's so much noise going on that like even for me, um, you know, I was getting hit up by, by a bunch of people in different industries saying, like, hey, let's do this together. Let's do this together. Like there's space in here and here. And then like, you know, um, I think when when you're trying to like make something successful, right, and really, really trying to like scale a business or scale something, you have to learn to say no a lot more than you say yes. And that's one of the mistakes that I was doing was, you know, I had so many cool, amazing people like say, hey, let's do this together, let's do this together. And like you guys watching this too are going to have a bunch of opportunities come through your door after, you know, you hit your first like home run, um, quote unquote, in like a business, right? People start hitting you up. Um, you'll sort of kind of get acknowledgement or whatever in your sort of space and you'll be able to leverage that um, and start other ventures, which is what you want to do. But the problem is, is like, you might get a lot of people to do that. And then, you know, my own issue is I was saying yes to so many different projects and businesses and things to work on. And I didn't personally have the bandwidth to do it. And, you know, I kind of realized that. So I was trying to, you know, uh, sort of like set up these systems and processes by like, you know, putting my friends on and having them manage certain things. But even for that, we were doing so much that it was, it was insane to try and delegate and systemize and, um, even with the whole YouTube thing, like I love YouTube. I love making content for you guys. I love like talking about stuff because you know I think I think I mean although there's a lot of people talking about especially dropshipping um, in particular, which is what I got started with. I think there are some. I mean I I think you can learn something from every single person on this platform um, that's you know making content out here, and I think I can sort of bring a slightly different perspective into some areas, which you know is ho hopefully why you watch me, but. Even for myself, that was that was tough trying to sort of like do that while I'm trying to work on all these different projects that you know are are technically worth a lot more of my time just because I can make a lot more money working on those projects and you know scaling them out and building them out. Um, but yeah, that's that's really like the biggest reason why I haven't been on here. Um, I just want to make this video because I got a bunch of DMs on Instagram where I'm a lot more active and people are just like you know did you die like why are you not uploading on YouTube well you know well, what's going on and it's just I'm I've been personally trying to figure out where I want to kind of navigate and go uh, with YouTube content um, and with my businesses and like what what do I want to personally like be known for and what do I enjoy making because you know even even for like the OG people if you've been watching my videos for a long time like, even my first videos I I was like I don't want to be known as like a guru kind of guy i don't want to be known as like a uh, like the drop shipping kid or drop like another one of the drop shipping kids like that was never my intention i just you know made content because i thought one it would be fun um and two like a lot of people were kind of like uh not rooting for me but like you know uh supporting sort of like the the journey just because you know my first videos i was like what i think 18 i think when i first started uploading and like there wasn't that many 18 year olds, you know, drop shipping um, or like as like like public publicly, you know, showing that they were drop shipping. Um, and so it was cool. It was a super cool experience. But, you know, 
just these last few months, I have been swamped with work. I took on too many projects um, and, you know, spread myself out too thin. And I think that's something that you guys should at least kind of know about so you can apply it to your own personal life and your own personal projects and see like, oh, you know, like even if you're just starting out an online business or you're just, you know, you're just trying to get into drop shipping or e-commerce or anything like that, I think there's a lot of um, sort of like step back that you need to be doing so that you can like sort of analyze um, where you are on a day-to-day basis. Because again, it's like you don't want to get caught up in whatever you're, you're working on or the multiple things you're working on and realize that you, you know, you're, you're, you're being sort of like a, uh, you just, your time is just being sucked out by other like these projects that you know you, you feel like oh yeah you know I'm gonna work on this for X amount of time it's, it's gonna I'm gonna scale this one and then you know this one's also gonna scale at the same time and this one's gonna scale at the same time um, but it's not that easy um, especially when you, you know, are trying to scale things to like seven and eight figures um, and stuff like that but again I just wanted to kind of make this a really really quick video for you guys um, and sort of like kind of at least kind of tell you guys what I want to plan out down the road. Um, I do want to keep making you know e-commerce content. I think it'd be really interesting. Um, you know, we're, we're getting stores that are you know approaching like three, four, five k a day um, that are like pretty new. So I want to do sort of like documentaries on that um, and just kind of like what I notice is working now and stuff along those lines. So e-commerce content will still be there. Um, it's just I don't want to be known for that, and I feel like that's not what I uh, like should be doing for like the next few years at least. Oh my God. Um, Definitely not, but that's again why you know I'm just trying to figure this out, but also kind of like make content for you guys because I know there's a lot of people out there like learning. There's a lot of people out there learning from people that um, aren't you know uh, necessarily saying like the the best routes to go on certain methods, in my personal opinion. But basically, yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick sort of like roadmap and uh, sort of reasoning behind why I haven't posted and why I want to start posting again to sort of like help you guys out in in that side of things. Um, but yeah, business content for sure, e-commerce content, definitely we have stores approaching like 5K a day now that I think would be super, super useful for you guys to kind of understand the process behind and what we're sort of doing with that. Um, and then, uh, you know, a little bit of lifestyle stuff. I, I eventually want to move a bit more into just lifestyle business stuff, but I still think there's a lot of e-commerce content that I can talk about um, that you guys would find super, super valuable. And then on top of that, uh, we st- uh, started started a vlog channel um, because I think my friends are funny as fuck and I think we do some pretty funny shit. And I think, uh, you know, it's good to just work really hard and have a, a lot of fun while you're doing it. So, um, you know, that's kind of like a game plan, guys. I'll link stuff down in the description, like the vlog channel stuff you guys can subscribe to um, and see when that drops. And then I will um, see you guys in the next video. Again, this is just a super quick one of just wiping on. And I think, uh, you know, it should be super useful for the content that you guys uh, will be seeing here pretty soon. Shout out to everyone that DM'd me on Instagram saying, you know, like, what's up and why I haven't uploaded. I love you guys. I love everyone watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.